All right, thanks for watching. And I feel I haven't done integrals in a while. So here's an integral that my friend Sho suggested. And it's very neat. So it's an integral from zero to pi over two of one over one plus tangent of x to the square root of two. And that's a nice integral that we'll solve with the naming uh, technique, basically. Call this i and find an equation for i. So. First of all, notice that you can write tangent as sine over cosine. So it's 1 over 1 plus sine of x over cosine of x to the square root of 2 dx, which becomes the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of 1 over 1 plus sine of x to the square root of 2 over cosine of x to the square root of 2 dx. And that you can just put on a common denominator. So that's the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of 1 over a cosine of x to the square root of 2 plus sine of x to the square root of 2 all over cosine of x to the square root of 2 okay, times dx and what this becomes that's the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of cosine of x to the square root of 2 over uh, cosine of x to the square root of 2 plus sine of x to the square root of dx in other words, our integral is nothing other than that monster integral. So let's uh, write it down as follows. So let's just transform it directly. So this becomes cosine of x of square root of 2 over, again, cosine of x to the square root of 2 plus sine of x to the square root of 2 dx. All right. And again, so in other words, there's no more tan, there's just cosine and sine, so that's good. And here's a nice trick. Let's use the u sub u equals to pi over 2 minus x. Minus x. Then, first of all, u of 0 is pi over 2. u of pi over 2, it's pi over 2 minus pi over 2, which is 0 and du it's minus dx, so dx it's minus du. And so in the end what we get is the integral from pi over 2 to 0 of, again, so cox becomes, in other words, pi over 2 minus u. So what we get is cosine of pi over 2 minus u, to the square root of 2 over cosine of pi over 2 minus u to the square root of 2 plus sine of pi over 2 minus u minus u to the square root of 2. And then remember dx is just minus du. And I know this looks horrible, but it simplifies quite nicely. Because notice, this is in the wrong order, but the minus rectifies it. So we get integral from 0 to pi over 2. Now, cosine of pi over 2 minus u is just a sine of u. So we get sine of u to the square root of 2. And this becomes a sine of u. to the square root of 2, and then again sine of pi over 2 minus u is cosine of u to the square root of 2 du. Okay, very good, so it's quite interesting, and again, uh, once you integrate with respect to u and everything is in terms of u, you can just do another u sub if you want, let, let u be equal to x, and then in the end you find that this is the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of 
uh, sine of x to the square root of 2 over cosine of x to the square root of 2 plus sine of x to the square root of 2 dx. So in other words, interestingly, it's the same thing, but here we have cosine and here we have sine. And here comes a beautiful trick. Again, thanks, Sho. It always gives me the best ideas. So I now to calculate i plus i. An i for an i, and we get basically the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of so cosine of x to the square root of 2 plus sine of x to the square root of 2 dx because they have the same denominator. So cosine of x to the square root of 2 plus sine of x to the square root of 2. And lo and behold, this cancels out and you're left with 2i becomes the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of 1 dx, which becomes square root of 2. So i is just half of that. i then just becomes pi over 4. So the integral that we want is just pi over 4. And that's it. How neat is that? All right, if you like that and you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.